Bring your car battery to the 21st century with a lightweight lithium battery. To start off, remove the old battery terminals and the battery hold down tray. Remove the old battery. The old lead acid battery came in at 31 and a half pounds. While the G30 Braille lithium battery is an amazing five and a half pounds. The new lithium battery has negative and positive terminals on the opposite sides compared to my lead acid battery. To start off, cut the positive wire alongside the red starter wire. Strip back the wire insulation. I'm using a 120 amp Anderson power pole connector. They are very cheap and very easy to use. The two wires are inserted into the two gauge power pole terminal. A hydraulic crimping tool makes quick work of the terminals. Wrap a few layers of shrink tubing on the connector, then use a heat gun to shrink it down. And then repeat the process on the negative side battery wire. The negative side has one small grounding wire. I cut some new 10 gauge wire to use as a replacement. Strip off the insulation, then crimp on the new terminal. Use some heat shrink on the exposed metal. I used some nice wire sleeving for this, but it's not necessary, but it looks pretty good. Attach the new ground wire to the chassis. The two wires are inserted into the two gauge power pole terminal and then are crimped down. The negative terminal gets the same heat shrink job as the other side. Now it's time to connect the power pole. Each side has a labeled negative and positive. Do not mix them up. Push each terminal into the connector. You will hear and feel a click and that's it. 
Moving to the battery side wires. I used some 4 gauge wire, starting by stripping off the insulation. Crimp on the terminal, then deburr the sides where the metal flared out just a little bit. The negative side wire gets the same treatment. I used a vise to bend the terminal to the angle that I wanted. Measure out the wire length needed, then cut the two 4 gauge wires. Strip away the insulation. Then crimp on a 4 gauge Anderson power pole. Apply heat shrink to both ends and I used some nice wire sleeving to make it look pretty good. Insert the terminals into the power pole, keeping track on which wire is negative and positive. Double check that the polarity of each wire matches the power pole. Do not mix up the wiring. Connect the wires to the battery. The G30 lithium battery uses a 6mm thread on the posts. A small bolt is sufficient because the power is running through the terminal and not the bolt. Double check the polarity, then plug in the power pole connector, and see if the car starts. Check the voltage when the engine is running and being charged by the alternator, and then check the battery when the engine is turned off. It looks like I'm good here. Properly charging a lithium battery is critical. You have to use a Braille branded charger to maintain their battery warranty. The charger is very simple. Connect the wires, and when one of the two red lights turns green, it's fully charged. It's important to not charge a lithium battery if the voltage drops below a safe level. Also, a good thing to know is that you cannot jumpstart with this battery. The manufacturer is very clear about not jumpstarting any other car or your own car while using this battery. I'm using Braille's universal battery mount. It's cheap and lightweight. I'll be using two quarter inch aluminum rods as my battery hold down. Mark the bottom of the battery tray where the aluminum rod comes in contact with it. Center punch the mark 
and drill the two required holes. Deburr the two holes. I love using riv nuts, so I'll, of course, be using them here. I used two of them for the battery hold down. Install the two riv nuts into the battery tray holes that we just drilled. Temporarily install the battery. The next step is to tap some threads into the quarter inch aluminum rods. The thread size and pitch match the riv nuts. I believe I used a quarter inch coarse thread. Install the rod and measure how long they need to be. I marked where I'll be cutting. Cut the rod down to size. I tapped the ends of the rods with the same threads as the wing nuts that I'll be using. Install the rods, battery, holder, the washers, and finally the two wing nuts. The battery holder fits and works well. Since I don't have any fender liners, I made some ABS plastic shields to keep water away from the battery. A lithium battery, like most batteries, they do not like water. The bottom plastic piece covers up the ugly rusted metal. And some sheet metal screws keep the side plastic in place. I haven't come up with a good battery terminal cover, so some tape will suffice for now. And man, does this engine turn over crazy fast now. Thanks for watching this lengthy video. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram.